Hello everyone, Homeopathy Heals welcomes you in the today's video. Today's video is slightly different and very special. It is different because uh, we will be studying comparative materia medica of cantharis and it is special because we will not be comparing cantharis as a whole but we will be taking a particular symptom of cantharis and we will comparing it other drugs of homeopathic materia medica. So let's get started. As we all know that cantharis has been known for its irritating property. It has a marked specific action of causing inflammation, irritation, erythema and advancing blisters whenever it is applied locally over the skin. Sometimes the blisters are large and they are filled with yellowish white serum. So the irritating property of cantharis is the foundation stone of whole proving. In today's video, we will be discussing this property of cantharis with other drugs. First of all, uh, I would like to take up Rustox and I would compare Rustox, cantharis and anacardium. In Rustox, the vesications, there is more of redness in the skin. The redness is of Rustox is more than cantharis and infiltration of skin is more. The inflammation of Rustox has well defined margins and sensation is of itching, tingling whereas in cantharis sensation is burning and smarting. In anacardium we have a lot many concomitant symptoms with us like loss of appetite, gastric disturbances, so many mental complaints. They are, these are the essential concomitants. Another thing in anacardium, there is eczematous eruptions and they have tendency to form gangrene. The next remedy to be compared is croton tig. Croton tig has small vesicles and there is terrible itching. They have red base and mostly genitals are affected in case of croton tig. And we have what we have in the concomitant symptom, the pain in urination and some blisters are so much large that even when they break up, they leave the space moist, red and finally greyish color crust is formed. This is very much different from Canthus. Next remedy is Hura. Hura has red vesicles and there is a sensation of splinter under the thumbnail. Next remedy is Formica Rufa. As we all know, Formica Rufa is prepared from ants. So the inflammation, redness with itching and burning and there is slight desquamation. As a concomitant, the urine of Formica rufa is albuminous and bloody and there is much urging to urinate. In case of ranunculus bulbosus and scleritus, what I have learned in my MD that no other drug has irritative property on skin other than ranunculus that to scleritus. The vesicles of ranunculus may be blue or black and they discharge secretion which is which becomes horny and, and unlike cantharis uh, it has no color like blue and black but the vesicles of ranunculus they look more similar like lachesis. Uh, this point should be kept in mind that remedies like capsicum, camphor, terebinth, Pix and Piper Nigrum has a very slow tendency to form vesication. It is very much different from formation of vesication, the quick formation of blisters in case of Cantharis and Epis Malefica. I hope you have liked this video. Uh, please share among your friends, write in the comment section. Uh, wait for the next video next Friday 1pm. Till then stay fit, stay healthy, homeopathy heals.